we've got there come yep. through Josh is we've got five things. You've got your head speed. No, no, and in the end, then you've gone for. Yeah. Remember that grip? Yeah. There you go, good man. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit more smart, look. Oh, 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 oh. Good man. Right, here we Cut go. Cut Right, golf mates, the story has been set. Here we are. Josh? Yeah. You're warmed up? I am. They're looking after you? Yeah. Listen, Mizuno brought the big dogs out here. When I mean big dogs, check this lad out. Hey guys, Alex Thorne, Tour Operations Manager for Mizuno. Here for Al Josh. Yep. Yeah. And this man, good looking lad. Cool, something about that. I'm being polite. Matt, I'm a tour rep here at Mizuno as well. So uh, yeah, Alex and I spend the majority of our time with our tour players and uh, elite amateurs out with, uh, out with good golfers. So we're going to make this a fun day. So we're going to get Matt quickly to run through exactly what we're doing, and then we're just going to leave it to the boys. They know more than me. All right, Josh, you take that last one off there with your with yeah, your yeah. seven iron. Hit one more with yours, uh, and then we'll jump on in and get started. Good move. Perfect. All right, Josh, let's jump in. So have you seen this before? You used this before? I think I've seen it before, yeah. I've seen it before, perfect. So what this is going to do, this is going to, we're going to hit three shots with this, yep. uh, three swings. Basically, the, the optimizer is going to uh, record what's going on during your golf swing. Yep. Um, so change the direction, your head speed, all these things that will come through that are yep. unique to your move, but it's going to bring it up as we go. So we'll just quickly hit three shots of that. Yep. You're going to see on the top there, you see a, um, the, the flashing blue line. Yeah, yeah. That's going to go orange in a second. There you go, and then once that goes back to blue, there you go, good to go. Give that a nice swing. Good man, perfect. So what we've got there coming yep. through, Josh, is we've got five things. You've got your head speed, yep. tempo, toe down, kick angle, and release factor. Yep. All these things that subconsciously go on, but are unique to your move. So some people get wrapped up in head speed. Mm. You know, do I need this, do I need that? It's not the be all and end all, it's how you get there. Yep. You know, you look at someone who's got a early release and it really holds on yep. to it. Two very different moves. So, that being said, everything's coming out and it's going to give us three shafts to start with. Yep. Um, flex and weight. Uh, we've got three here that we're going to try. So, we've mm -hmm. got a fairly light one, um, yep. slightly heavier, but ultimately on the, on the weight side, everything's going to be a little lighter than what yeah. you've got. Um, we'll see what that does to strike and see what that does to ball flight. So yeah, yeah. we'll jump on yeah. in. All right. um, so Josh, we're looking at, um, yeah, yeah. looking at your length here and looking yeah. at your, your height and then your knuckles to floor. It's yeah. how we measure your, your starting point. Yeah. Um, we're looking at our standard length. Um, so everything we're going to try today is a little bit shorter than what you've got in its overall length. You know, yeah, it just yeah. certainly visually when you're over the ball there, it looks like you just grip down a little bit, think, like yeah, a little bit more comfortable down on it. So hopefully we'll feel a little bit more comfortable yeah. gripping it where you should do. So that would be a nice addition. Uh, and that will look really to, to help strike, but mainly your consistency. Yeah. You know, if you've got something that's very long, it's very difficult to deliver the club face square. So getting the right length is gonna really correspond to that strike. So let's try something. Okay. Feel a bit different to what you're used to. Still quite a sleek, quite a sexy look, but again, a little bit different to... Uh, You know, that head's going to be going forward, it gives you the most forgiveness, it's going to give you that distance gain, um, but also feel good. What heads have we gone with here, Matt? So at the minute we've got the, um, the JPX 919 hot metal, um, the most forgiving of our range, but not sacrificing those nice feel and the nice looks. Oh, yeah. So what we've got there, Josh, is that's uh, certainly the, yeah. the, the three options we've, we've tried, head design, shaft design, 
Yeah. That's giving you the most consistency. It's mm. giving you the furthest carry. Feels good to you, right? Yeah, it does, yeah. So, you know, for your iron set, I'm really happy with going with that. Um, now we move on through the fit to where we'd make the split into your long irons. You know, yeah. whether, you, whether you finish at a five iron, let's say, four iron, yeah. you know, where we make the split. So we'll hit a mm -hmm. few with certainly your current setup, yeah. uh, your current hybrid, uh, and then we'll try some options at our end and see if we can kind of tie that, that gap between irons and woods. Yeah. Going on, man. Good, really good. Swinging so well, aren't you? I am, I'm surprised myself. Nah, you're just in the right place with the yeah, right no, people. I am, yeah. And the right clubs, maybe, yeah. you now it's looking yeah. that way, isn't it? So, I won't tell you too much about it. We're just going to go ahead and hit some with it. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you too much about what we're doing. Just going to get a bit of feedback from you and see what uh, what feels good and ultimately what, what performs well. So, okay. What head is it, Matt? That's the CLK. So, um, it bridges that gap between our irons and our woods uh, and the CLK we do uh, in various different lofts uh, but also we can move it up right and we can change lofts about a little bit. Felt like it went, felt like it came off the face strong. Yeah, I let it into the ball to be honest. Okay. So we've gone CLK, so we've gone uh, finish at five iron of the iron set, uh, and then the CLK we've gone for, uh, it's a 22 degree head, we notched it down a degree just to get that distance gap perfect, um, and tweaked it a little bit upright as well to kind of take away that one that looks right. It's not just a gap, just some distance. Just different, yeah? Yeah. Okay. See how this one behaves. And you, like, you like this club? I do. Yeah, hit it well. I have been doing, yeah. I've stopped using it for a while, but I have been doing it. And do you tend yeah. to use it a little bit more off the tee or off the deck? Probably off deck and per If I wasn't going off tee, now I'm using tee. Okay, good. Right, Josh! Josh, you're hitting your own pre wood there, aren't you? Oh god, yeah. But we've got our Bro. kid over there, he's just got the other end of it, hasn't he? Matt, how long have you been fitting here? We've been here now 18 months. Have you ever seen anyone's own club fall pieces? That's the first time. Congratulations, Josh, that is the first time. That is amazing. Is that right, yeah. <laughs> well, you definitely need a free one now, Josh. Yeah, I'll keep it Literally, literally, I've just swapped cameras. I cannot believe I'm kicking myself here. What a muppet. <laughs> he definitely needs a new club now. Right, Matt, now we know we definitely need a three wood of some sort or a five wood. What have you banged him in? What we've got, we've actually moved into a five wood here. So we've gone into, from four hybrid into the five wood, uh, just to see how that sits. Uh, what is it? Just, it's just the, watch your grip on them, mate. It's the ST190. There you go. Try and break this, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> previous was a five wood uh, we now moved into a three wood so something a little stronger that like, uh, 48 degree hybrid you know mm -hmm. what we're going to do here is try and hope make it as simple as possible so we're going to keep driver but then work on what we can put there in the bag that you're actually going to use good move how'd that feel good uh, that's getting the distance better isn't it you know that visually yeah, is much more forward flight yeah you know, again, that way of 185. So, you know, for a three wood going 185, yeah, starting to get to where you want it to be. We're talking distance 185. Again, yeah. I'll take that off. Yeah, yeah, on a consistent move. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we might come back to that, but we'll put that to bed. Can you repeat that, no, Matt? <laughs> what about that, Matt? I mean, that is. Um, uh, it looks <laughs> frighteningly hard to hit Josh, I think. You'd yeah, no. Right, so what's happening now? Jo Josh is it? Josh is hitting his own driver, right, and the lads are just giving him a little bit for it. It's an old Cobra. Old. Josh? Yep. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I am. Is it yeah. better than you thought? Better than I thought. Just think, they're going making your clubs and you're going to be hitting them today. I know. Just eh? I know. Matt, who's he doing as a fitter? I am very impressed. What do you think of his uh, 17 handicap? Uh, well, he's definitely going to be on my team if you play golf. <laughs> Okay, good move. Yeah, I mean that's healthy hit. Yeah, I know I'm going to drive that. You do. And then obviously one more time it will drop. Okay, cool. Any favours? Yeah, this driver. Um, 
but you're actually hitting that there the same distance as we were just hitting the three wood. Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. if it's going offline, not so confident with it, mm -hmm. and it's not going as far, yeah. We can just we'll yeah. sling. Well, well, you may as well snap this. I'm like, it's back to three with. <laughs> <laughs> so let's jump in on this, yeah. Josh. That's a, it's the ST190. Uh, again, I won't tell you too much about it, about shaft wise. I'll just hit a few uh, to see how it feels to you. Yeah. And then we might try a couple of different things. But keep that nice and neutral. Keep that grip up top. Good move. Nice and committed. It went a, leaked a little right, didn't it? Well, yeah, for your first effort, yeah, yeah. not bad. Much better. Better distance. Yeah, better distance. Come out a little bit quicker, didn't it? Yeah. Good move to go slow. Much better. See how that works in that ball flight? Yeah. How How's the driver feeling? Really good. Yeah. Can't feel nothing at home. Soft. You got a favourite club at the moment? Driver. Driver? Yeah, I know. It's putting a big grin on your face, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Josh. Let's give that a whirl. Okay. Right. What did that feel like to swing? Again, soft. Did you feel nothing? Compared, compared to the previous? Did you, did you feel a difference or did yeah. it feel like it was very similar? A bit heavier. A bit heavier. Yeah, a bit heavier. Okay, cool. So what you've got in your hand at the moment is uh, the weight is, is a fraction different, but it's a little softer, it's flex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, swing. Awesome, Josh. Right. Yeah. That's longer. Bruce in it. Let's have a look. Two eye. Oh, oh, he's great for two eye, too. Good man. Well done. That feel good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, now keep that same exact same feel. Yeah, yeah. What you do is jump back in and just clip a couple of seven irons just to make sure that feels good. So don't worry about the team. That's it. That's what we are. Back into that seven iron. Matt, so, how come we've just gone from drive to seven iron? What? I mean, drive, we've, we've basically gone through the bag there, made sure everything that we've, we've hit is working. Um, and I just want to get that rhythm back again with seven iron and just work it back in, make sure it's still behaving. Makes sense. I knew that was a bad shot. You know yeah. Right? Right down the grip. Yeah. See that? You feel it? And I was yeah, going to stop you there, but you're just again, freak right the way down. Yeah. So, for you, when you go away from today, obviously you're going to have a nice, shiny new yeah. set of golf clubs. But also, when you're practicing, when you're out and about, yeah, just really, yeah, I mean, your golf swing's great, your lines into golf yeah. are very good, and the strike's there. So, you know, there's plenty and plenty of positives. But if, if you can yeah. take one thing away from it, just make sure you use the, use the length of the club. Yeah. You know, use that grip, get that, get that grip where it should be. And then from there, you won't get a bit, you won't get a bit bad shot from there. So. <laughs> There you go, spot on, get that nice swing. There he is, back in the strike, yeah. Feel good? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Then you see that black flag just yeah. in front of us? Hit a couple just to there. So what wedges are these, Matt? These are the T20s, so we've got a 50 degree gap wedge. Um, so, you know, we finish at pitching wedge in the set, then let's go into gap wedge, lob wedge, and, uh, sorry, gap wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge. Are you liking them, young man? Really good. Look at that grid on you. Yeah. Can't buy that. Okay, good. What I'm going to say here, what a fitting this is. They have made him feel great. And honestly, Josh, if you're watching this, I'm proud as punch for you. Do you know why? You are hitting this ball fantastic. I hope I don't have come to a fitting, mate, because living up to you after that, Josh, you're hitting it absolutely fantastic. You're hitting it that well, you're hitting it above my head there, and I don't care because I know you won't hit me. So we're going to have a recap and find out exactly what he's got fitted for. Right, golf mates, it's all finished. Matt, how's he done? Awesome. Yeah, pleasure to be with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper golfer in there, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Some really good shots, yeah, really impressed. And what yeah. we've worked out is a bad putter. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to come back for, for a putter, yeah, we'll have to look at that because, uh, yeah, there's something, there's something wrong there because the golf game's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so what's he gone for? What we've gone for, yes, Joe, uh, Josh, to summarise, we've gone driver through to lob wedge, uh, through the bag. Driver, we ended up with the ST190, um, and then we've gone into a, a three wood, um, adjustable three wood, uh, so we can change loft if need to. I think we'll, everything we, we build today, we're going to leave as is. Um, and then into a four hybrid instead of a four iron. Um, five iron right the way through to lob wedge um, in your iron set. Um, gone for a nice lightweight but firm shaft right the way through from your five iron through to your lob wedge yeah. um, following into your woods as well for a similar theme that they're nice and lightweight yeah. but maintain that stability 
Um, and then there's just a couple of options that we'll look at up on the truck on grips uh, and colour of wedges. Champion, right. So, we're off to the tow truck for Josh. All these clubs are going to get made. I know. I know. You buzz it. Oh, we want to, Anything yeah, you want to say to Matt? Thank you very much, Matt. Pleasure to be Pleasure. here. Thank no, you. Absolutely. Let's, go and, uh, let's go and knock them together, shall we? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, a lot better than that free wood anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, it looks like that free wood was a jack of the night. <laughs> Snide. Right, so on the video, Mizuno have kindly give the golf mate two wedges. Now, all you've got to do on the video is comment Mizuno wedges. But you've got to comment Mizuno chrome or Mizuno blue. Whichever you like, because they're up here now, they do two colours. Fair play, what a day we're having. See you tomorrow. Right, golf mates, what can you say what's happening today? It is, I'm pinching myself. The way they're looking after Josh, I just feel like the best uncle in the world. I mean, that's a tall truck behind us. And Josh is in there, sat down, chilling out, watching him make the clubs, he's helping making the clubs. It's been brilliant. Oh! Hey! <laughs> well, man. Good work. Right, we've all got to go home now. Yeah, we're all done. Yeah. Two thirty, and we're going home. Yeah. Right, all right, golf mate. Right. How good is this? It's a nice straight one, isn't it? So Josh is playing a hole and the team, they're not letting him go on his own. We're all here together.